All right. Now let's go on to two examples of calculating the effective resistance of a circuit. As you can see here, we have two 4 ohm resistors in parallel. And this whole arrangement is in series with the 2 ohm resistor. So how do you calculate the, the effective resistance of this arrangement? First, you deal with the resistors in parallel. Let's call the total resistance here R1. So 1 over R1 will be equal to 1 over 4 plus 1 over 4 equals to 2 over 4, which is half per ohm. That means R1 is equal to 2 ohm. Once we get the resistance R1, and knowing that this parallel arrangement of the two 4 ohm resistors is in series with the 2 ohm resistor, we just add R1 to 2. So the total resistance or the effective resistance RT is equal to 2 plus R1 equals to 2 plus 2 equals to 4 ohm. This is one example. Now let's go on to our second example. In this example, you can see that two 5 ohm resistors are in series. And this arrangement is in parallel with the 40 ohm resistor. So how do we find the effective resistance of this arrangement? First, we deal with the two resistors in series. We call this resistance R1. So R1 is equal to 5 plus 5 equals to 10 ohm. So the effective resistance of the two 5 ohm resistors in parallel is 10 ohm. And this is in parallel with the 40 ohm resistor. So now let's calculate the effective resistance of this arrangement. 1 over RT is equal to 1 over R1 plus 1 over 40 is equal to 1 over 10 plus 1 over 40. And this is equal to 5 over 40, which is equal to 1 over 8 per ohm. Remember that this is not the final answer. You have to take the reciprocal of 1 over 8 to get RT. So RT is equal to 8 ohm. This is the effective resistance of this arrangement.